he's back. And this time it's personal. <laughs> Triple G's attitude has surprised the WBC president Mauricio Suleiman in the run-up to Triple G's rematch with Canelo Alvarez. Well, you can't hate on Triple G for being mad with Canelo, given the circumstances. You can understand why he is mad. And he's been letting rip. <laughs> he's been saying all kinds of stuff. And I'm cool with trash talk. I'm cool with trash talk from both sides because they're going to fight each other at the end of the day. So to me, it just adds to the build up. It adds to the excitement. And I like it. I like the trash talk coming from both sides. And this fight, in terms of my anticipation for it, has built and built. Initially, when they made this rematch, I was kind of a bit indifferent about it, I would say. But the closer the fight is getting, the more I'm looking forward to it because of the bad blood, for one, but mainly because of Canelo and his physical state, because he looks to have lost a lot of muscle mass and I don't know how that's going to affect him in the ring. Is he going to lose significant amounts of punching power and physical strength? Or will it actually improve him? Will he have a higher work rate? Will he be more explosive? Who knows? This is where the intrigue comes in it. Uh, for me anyway. So I'm interested to see what's going to happen there. Will Canelo just be too weak this time and Triple G will be able to break him down and get him out of there? Or maybe he'll be faster. Maybe he'll be able to implement a similar game plan to the first time around, but more effectively, with more stamina, with more work rate. Triple G. The expectation is that he's going to start earlier this time because last time he kind of stood off Canelo and he tried to box with him for a few rounds and that didn't go well. Canelo came off by far the better when they were boxing with each other. Canelo's skill level is way higher than Triple G's and that's actually something that did surprise me a bit. I thought Triple G would have some success at long range using his jab and all that kind of thing against Canelo but he really didn't. Canelo was able to take Triple G's jab away in the early rounds of the fight with relative ease and then light Triple G up with combinations and he made him look very robotic and slow and basic. The skill gap really jumped out at me in the first fight. Canelo was a way more skilled fighter, way more talented. But obviously Triple G has that strength and he's got that punch power, although the punch power wasn't really noticeable in the first fight because he wasn't able to tag Canelo clean many times. So he wasn't able to make that punch power particularly effective. Canelo's got some skills, man. We have to give the guy credit. I know people want to st start talking about failed PED tests and what have you, and that's fair enough. But just look at his skill. Canelo's skill is impressive and it's been improving over the years. So yeah, it's going to be interesting this rematch. Will Golovkin be able to break Canelo down by starting earlier this time? Or is Canelo better prepared? I have to say, I was quite impressed with the way Canelo looked at the public workout the other week. To me, he looked fast. He looked lighter on his feet than I've seen him for quite some time. So, And there is some controversy about the gloves that Canelo wants to wear. The gloves have been approved, apparently, by the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Golovkin's team have protested. They're not happy with the fact that Canelo's wearing these gloves. These gloves were designed, correct me if I'm wrong here, but these gloves were designed by a member of Canelo's team. And this is not unprecedented. I remember when Vladimir Klitschko fought, I think it's when he fought Kubrat Pulev. He fought, uh, sorry, he wore a pair of gloves that he designed. <laughs> you know, which is a little concerning if you're an opponent, right? But yeah, that was the case in the Kubrat Pulev fight. Klitschko was wearing gloves that were designed by Klitschko. And in this fight right here, Canelo's looking, well, it was worse in the Klitschko situation because not only was Klitschko wearing those gloves designed by him, Pulev was also wearing them. So Pulev didn't get to choose his own gloves. In this fight right here, Golovkin does get to choose his own gloves. But it's just Canelo's gloves will be the ones designed by a member of Canelo's team. And... You know, they're a new brand of glove. They haven't been used 
in many fights before, if they've been used in any fights at all, I don't know. The name of the glove is, God, off the top of my head, what is it? No Boxing, No Life, I think it is, I think they're called, which is a strange, you know, very odd name for a, a brand of gloves, but it is what it is. So yeah, there's a little dispute over that. And Golovkin realizes at this point, he's going to get no favors from the Nevada State Athletic Commission. He's going to get no favors from the WBC. These people are all on Canelo's side. We all know that, <laughs> right? So, you know, I mean, look, unless there's a horseshoe in those gloves, then I think Golovkin's just going to have to deal with the situation as it is. Yeah, you just going to have to deal with the situation as it is. Uh, if the commission have approved the gloves, I don't see what Golovkin can do at this point. You know, he's not in the Mayweather, Mayweather position when Mayweather was dictating to Marcus Maidana and, you know, several other fighters what brand of glove they are, are or are not allowed to wear. Golovkin's not in that position. In fact, he's in the other corner. He's on the B side. He's not as much of a B side fighter as Maidana was against Floyd, etc. But he's still the B side. So Abel Sanchez, yeah, he can kick up a fuss and he can try to get the commission to force Canelo to wear a different pair of gloves. But you know, I don't. If Golovkin is worrying about that, I think he's losing the mental battle. He doesn't need to be focusing on the gloves. So hopefully he's not worrying about that. Hopefully he's just thinking about the fight. You know, because if you've got that in the back of your mind, like these gloves are going to give Canelo some kind of advantage, then that can be demoralizing in the, in the ring. If you're getting lit up with shots, you're going to start to think, hang on, is it the gloves? Because these shots are hurting. Is it the gloves that are causing the punches to hurt more than they should? You know, you don't want that kind of thing going on in the back of your mind. So anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Canelo Alvarez versus Triple G. It's not this weekend, it's a weekend after. September 15th for the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. Let me know how you feel, people. It's that man, I'm out.